What's so beautiful about these words, empowered, validated, hyped, encouraged, courageous, ease, and grace. When you step into that feeling, you just gave that feeling out. Yeah. So that's why, and again, not everyone's every cup, everyone's cup of tea, but that's why some people, they love Lady Gaga or they love Pink or they love Beyonce. I'm just thinking about musicians, women who just walk in their They just walk in their skin and being around them, you feel like you absorbed some of that. So, so the cost is that some of the people who were really afraid to walk in their skin might not like that you all of a sudden have the guts to show up as yourself. But meanwhile, the other people who've been looking for more of that in their life, they will rise because of you. You will get to be that for those people. And it's not a small thing. It literally, I, we watch it happen and made to do this every time that people start to say, you don't understand. My marriage is different. My kids are different. My neighbors are different. My best friends are different. This is what's happening. Oh my God, there's a shedding of the skin and something else is happening and it, we're all in it. It's like a microorganism. It's all moving for everyone. Yes, exactly. Awesome. And I also just want to reiterate that I am my own student. And so I talk this way and I'm so passionate about these things because I am a recovering codependent. I'm a recovering people pleaser. And so I know what this feels like and it's so my work. And so I can sit here with you and I can say, come with me, you know, like, let's do this together. We can do this. I know what this feels like. I know what it's like. We've gotten so good at taking care of everyone else. And we just like set ourselves on fire and it's not really what everyone needs from us anyway. They really need you. That's how they're really going to grow. Cause you were put there to be you so they could bounce off of that and then have that different perspective in their life or you in their life. And it's amazing how your relationships will change from this. What a great session. We have so much more good stuff coming. Who's excited to peer around the corner to next week? You guys are doing it. You're right in the middle of it. And it's, it's like the messy middle, but I want to remind you of the messy middle. If you are making brownies right now and you mix the flour and the sugar and the eggs, and it was this sort of soupy thing and you went to go taste it, you'd go, Kath, this does not taste like brownies. And so I'm, I'm not into what you're selling. It's like, okay, hang on. You're mixing up ingredients. We're in the messy middle. Now we do a couple more steps, right? We put that messy mixture into a pan. We put it in the oven and we give it the time to keep rising. And then when we take it out, it's very different than the gooey batter. It's something else. It's really something else, but the ingredients are starting to come together. So right now we just put eggs in the bowl. We're going to add flour next week. Then we're going to add sugar. By the end, you're going to have brownies. But if at any point you're like, I'm judging the brownies now and I'm really disappointed, you will be, right? Because we we just are not at that point where we're ready to like taste the brownies yet. But we're making the brownies and our hands are messy and the counter's messy and it doesn't feel great because grandma Sylvia is coming over later. We wish we could tidy it up right now. And it feels a little vulnerable and a little sticky. Good. This is what it, this is the building blocks. Let's make the batter.